And she also happens to be my wife. Good God, man. You're married to the city coroner? Yes. Woof. Is she pretty? Ah, she'd have to be pretty. I don't know how else you could tolerate being married to a colleague. Why don't we leave you to review the case files, Detective Watts? Yes, feel free to use my office if you must. Not necessary. Streets of this fine city are my office. Is everything? There may be an evidence box, uh, uh, but given that the case is 12 years old, it may take some time to locate it. Let me know when it's located. Uh, you let me know. I'm afraid your involvement has to end here, detective. You there. Uh, how long have you been working here? Uh, ten years, more or less. There's been time off here and there. I was incarcerated for a short while. Were you here for the Shanley case? No. Perfect. Hopefully you'll be of more help than the dullards at Station One. With me, uh, Constable. Go on, Crabtree. Oh, Detective. No hard feelings on leaving you out of the investigation, I hope. No. In fact, are you free for dinner? Good. It's late at night. I've just met with my ex-husband. I'm in the mood for another drink. You know all too well how family can disappoint. You didn't choose her for a sister. But in fairness, she didn't choose you, either. Your face is symmetrical. Murdoch, we found it. Murdoch, we found it. Murdoch, we... Oh, sorry, sir. I'm not drunk. Oh, really? He had a few. Did it speak for yourself? I had half a glass. Well, two half a glasses. May I ask exactly what it is you two have found? Uh, look here. Detective, I'm surprised to see you here. Oh. Detective Watts recently discovered his Jewishness. You converted? Uh, nope, I recognized a song. Where are they? What are you talking about? Your countrymen. Where are they? George, the Russians. What? The Poles? Where are they? Are you eating again? A minute ago, you were face and eyes into a souvlaki. Yes, but this is dessert. Baklava. Do you care for a nibble? No. We're supposed to be finding out where McBride went. Nobody will talk to me. Right, well, he was here for a while to make arrests, but then left to go to the hospital. How did you find that out? No, Stimo. Food is an important part of this culture. You eat, you talk, you learn things. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Detective Watts of the Toronto Constabulary. I trust you all know why you're here. The danger Annabella poses to you all is speculative, but as they say, better sure than sorry. You Take this, keep it for evidence. What is it? Very likely nothing of importance. And why keep it? Well, pretend you didn't say that. Get a pen and paper. Ambient temperature, 76 degrees. Time, 2.47. He's lightly clothed, ambient and internal temperatures. She was trying to prove her innocence. Boy's Paul Smith. I spoke with him yesterday. When Paul didn't appear for morning mass, I sent someone to find him. Paul's bed hadn't been slept in. Any reason the boy would leave of his own accord? I don't know. I lie and wait for him. Possible someone tried to steal one of his more valuable stamps. Oh. Where have you been? I stopped for snacks. What's keepsake? The altercation downstairs happened right beside the trap. Mr. Gould awaited the precise moment, emerged under cover of darkness, replaced the bullet in the gun, and vanished once again. Dated by the delay caused by Mr. Finch dropping the acid vial.
The same color and caliber as the bullet that killed Mrs. Potter. No, it can't be. Uh, Detective Inspector, I'm afraid Mr. Gould is innocent. What? But we just proved he did it. Certain aspects of my theory have proved false, in fact. What aspects? Uh, Mr. Gould was not under the stage, and he was not the reason Mrs. Potter lost her earring. What about the other things? Was he taking money for reviews? I believe so, yes. Detective um. Watts? Small world? George. I didn't know you lived in this building. Oh. Uh, I don't. <clears throat> oh. Have a lady friend, do you? Oh. Nothing to hide from me, Detective. We're in the same boat. What? Uh, Inspector? Is it, or is it not true that you are of the Jewish persuasion? It is my heritage, yes. But if he wasn't under the stage, he cannot be the killer. Right then. What next? I, I... Uh, 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 detective, just a moment. How can you be so sure of these things? I'm sure because the sounds and the lost earring were caused by something else. What? A tryst. <clears throat> With whom was she having a tryst? Her husband? No. Nope. May I see that? How do you know it's from a young lady? It could be from an old lady or a young man. Oh, jealous detective? Maybe she didn't. Maybe no. No. Oh, uh, yes. No. <clears throat> the Huckabee's housekeeper was at the house all day until 2 o'clock. Mr. Huckabee left work at 5 35, he then proceeded to a restaurant where he dined alone until 7.30. Afterwards, he arrived home greeting his next-door neighbor, Mrs. Hager, at approximately 8 p.m. Macaulay. I cherished it. Macaulay is a yes. painter. Yes, Philippe Macaulay, recently deceased. The poor man. And as you can see, it's gone. But all the other paintings yes. remain? So someone wanted this one. Yes. Did you have more Macaulay's? Yes. A and they didn't take them? No, no, no. See, I, I, I hurt the thief. I came down from upstairs, and I must have startled him. And they ran out? Yes, exactly. They ran out. What are you doing? Keeping my thoughts to myself to avoid them being interrupted. Now, you... Could be relevant to the investigation. Oh, it's not. Oh, I wonder... I'll judge that for myself, Detective. Right. Let's consider new theories. What the bloody hell's going on? Oh, it, it, it's not important, sir. Uh, Mr. Gould could not have been under the stage. Well, then who was? There's really no reason to say. Somebody bloody well tell me what's going on. John!